What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overlaw here. We're going to be talking about Scream 7 mostly in this video here today. We'll be going over these recent rumors that have come out about the filming. I'll also be sharing some things that I've heard, try to get you guys excited, things that I do trust. But Scream 7, we know, has been rumored to begin filming in early 2024 for quite a while. And everything just keeps on lining up and pointing into pointing us into that direction still. KDM, I know, was one of the first to mention this possibility. I've recently discovered and addressed how Melissa Barrera, who we know stars as Sam Carpenter in the recent new entries we've gotten from Radio Silence, she just dropped out of a project that would have begun shooting in March, but she backed out due to scheduling conflicts. Now, today, viewer Non has chimed in on Twitter to state that they've heard that filming would begin in, in around the springtime of next year. And what's interesting there is it lines up with Barrera recently dropping out of a project that would have began filming in March. Because what starts in March, correct me if I'm wrong, doesn't the spring start in March? So everything is pointing towards early 2024 sticking. But what about the release? Well, if they haven't removed the Christmas setting or altered it in any way, late 2024, 2020, early 2025 makes the most sense. Paramount doesn't seem to have anything dropping January of 2025, to my knowledge, so why not? It's right after Christmas, and a Christmas-themed scream could still be a hit to kick off the new year, in my opinion. Now, this is just me being funny, because I doubt this will happen. If Sonic wanted to shift into 2025 which i don't i don't know if it will i don't see why it would i'm just saying but sonic currently occupies december right now for paramount if it were to shift scream 7 could pull a halloween 2018 and release the same year that it got filmed filming from march to mid may let's say or shorter then you could spend june july august september for post-production then october november early december for full-on marketing with november being the more prominent since it's closer to christmas and in december we get a slasher hit to end the year but sonic again likely isn't going anywhere but i will say this i did hear in july or so or, or somewhere in the summer that what they want to do is release it in the winter so we know that's not strictly a december thing the winter also could apply to January, so that's why January 2025 would work as well. But they apparently want to drop this movie in the winter time. That goes along with the fact that, again, it's supposed to be Christmas, Christmas based. Not that the overall story would have to do with Christmas. That's not what I'm saying. Now, let's talk some returning cast rumors. So no one has signed on, as far as I know. So that's not what I'm trying to say with what I'm about to discuss. However, that also doesn't mean that it's still the case since I know the strike is ending. People could have signed on. But my Chris Landon source who told me about Landon being asked to direct and Radio Silent staying on as producers. And you guys know how that week went. Everything got confirmed later that same week by Bloody Disgusting and One Take News. That same individual did tell me over the summer about stars who more or less are back beyond just they need to sign. And these people are they're, they're they're getting all but signed at this point. So since the strike is over, that can hopefully lead to these people signing. Those people mostly are going to be legacy stars. I'm discussing. I think the core four is a given. No, no real reason to really discuss them any further. But the people I'm talking about are Courtney Cox, for sure, should be back. Nev Campbell, who Sidney Prescott does have a role in the screenplay. I do want to share that. Patrick Dempsey and Hayden Pantier. Now, here's a little nugget in regards to Dempsey. He has a great relationship with Spyglass now, and hmm, I wonder why. It, it can't possibly have anything to do with Thanksgiving, right? But Dempsey's Mark Kincaid character has a role in the screenplay as well. So all he needs to do is sign the dotted line, and so do those other three I just, those other three I just mentioned. Those are the legacy stars I'm expecting to be announced, courtesy of what I've been told. But... Knowing that his character has a role in the screenplay does make me curious how much of a significance will Mark Kincaid be in Scream 7. But I will say this again. The reason I'm only going to say these are rumors is because no one is officially back until we know that they've signed the dotted line. Just because they have plans for them to be back doesn't mean they will actually be back. That's no different than how Scream 6 would have had Sydney back and look how that turned out. 
Uh, that person also did mention that Nev Campbell's top priorities seem to still be Sydney's usage and the pay, of course. So good on her, especially for that usage part, because I, I cannot stress again enough. I don't care if Sydney is back on the surface anymore. That is not enough to get me excited. I can be intrigued by it, but what will really solidify my excitement is the more I continue to learn about Sydney's usage. And the reason I say that is because I am someone who thinks that her story is over. So if you continue to bring her back, I need to know why you're bringing her back. I want her to have purpose. I want her to have some sort of significance and reasoning to be back that doesn't just use her as a crutch to lift up other characters who you should really be trying to write to carry the story and not use the legacy stars as crutches but we'll see how this all pans out but let me know what you guys think about that down in the comment section below also how do you see kirby reed factoring into the narrative if hayden signs on because again all of those people have to do that i mentioned all they have to do is sign the dotted line but again Mark Kincaid is in the screenplay. Sidney Prescott is in the screenplay. I would have to assume Kirby Reed is also in the screenplay. But just because they're there doesn't mean they are going to end up in the film. And I think a lot of you know that if you are someone who likes to discuss the filmmaking process, you get what I mean. I can write a screenplay, include a bunch of characters, discuss it with the stars, and then those same stars, they don't return. Guess what I'm going to start doing? I'm going to start rewriting. So that's why I'm saying it's not official until they actually have signed the dotted line and until we start getting those announcements. But this is a very exciting time because now that the strikes are over, we should be getting a lot of news coming soon. Oh, I also will share this. Also during the summer, there are some very interesting newcomers I've heard about that people probably will be intrigued to see how these people get used in Scream 7. I'm dying to see how they get used if these individuals stick, but yeah. The, the new characters I've heard about. I'm very intrigued to see how they use these people. Let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, of course, make sure you go ahead and subscribe. Turn on post notifications so you can never miss a video. In the description, I'll have links to my social media accounts. I am on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there, of course. Let me know if there's any movies, news, or reviews you would like me to cover in the future. And with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.